so basically like the top benefits that I've found. Okay, it's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> We like basically went through this phase where we didn't really know if we wanted to make Aliyah or to just move to Israel given our circumstance and then make Aliyah a little bit after we moved because we said, hey, why make Aliyah? Like, what's the advantage to that? So I actually posed a question to Facebook and- You got shut down. I did get shut down. Damn, people were like, rare. Yeah, they were. You don't have the mindset. You should not be moving. Don't even think about it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Whoa, it was it, we're it, just like, we're just, you know, putting the question out there. Yeah, and it was more practical. It wasn't like... Right, they took it the wrong way. They took it emotionally. And I think everybody exactly. emotionally is attached to Israel. Like, I am emotionally attached to making Aliyah. Dean is emotionally attached to making Aliyah. The question was more from a practical standpoint. Like, yeah. what are the benefits? Like, Give me concrete benefits. Like I know that we typically try to lean towards emotions for arguments, but like I'm more practical. I want to understand the facts. So this is kind of a glimpse of like what we discussed after researching uh, all of that, right? Like we said, okay, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna do some research. I did a lot of the research, but um, this is this is basically what went down. So I know we've been talking a lot about this as whether we should be making Aliyah or not, and I've just been looking into it. And there's some really cool benefits. Like number one, because we have four kids, um, which is basically an amazing benefit, is the schooling is going to be free for us. So because Why? well, it's public school, and everybody's Jewish there, so they'll go to public school. So no. $60,000 plus of tuition every year? Yeah, I know. That's what we've been talking about. And like, wow. that goes away. Thing. And then they have this other thing called Sal Klita, which is they basically pay you to move to Israel. So they give you like a little bit of a bonus to come and adjust and adapt to the country for the first six months. And they have like a calculator online and you can figure out how much you get depending on the size of your family. And then the other cool thing, um, you know, we pay like twenty dollars to $30,000 a year in health insurance with our premiums and deductibles yeah, and everything. Great. Really. And like that goes away. Like there, it's socialized medicine, and you get um, coverage from there. So wow. I don't know all the details on the different providers, and I'm researching it, but um, it's it's amazing. Okay. And then on top of that, you also get um, uh, like a reduction on what's called Arnona, which is like your taxes that you pay on your rent. Because in Israel, it's different. People pay triple net lease. It's called where basically the renter is responsible for the taxes also, not only the rent. So what do they have? They have a discount on that? Yeah, it's like 80 or 90% off of what the taxes normally are for the first two years is from what I Oh, remember. wow, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a good deal. That's... And then um, another like big benefit is you get a ticket to move to Israel. Like they take you to Israel, so- They you, pay for your flight. They'll pay for your flight, yeah. Okay. Which is really- That's nice. Yeah, it's six great. Kids. Yeah. I mean, not six kids, and then there's not a, six people in Six people, yeah, yeah, we're not there yet. No way, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about learning the language there? And Oh, and then they give us Ulpan also. So they'll give us like um, a full, like blown Ulpan class uh, for free. Wow, so this is a lot to think about. It is a lot. And what I found the best thing is on Nefesh Benefesh's website, they have so much information on it. And like, they have links to even like thinking about making Elia, starting the process of Elia, so. And also you just, you don't really have Nefesh Benefesh to kind of like lean on and help you out every step of the way. So, yes. I mean, going to a foreign country is hard enough and then not having anyone to discuss what you need is even harder. Yeah, like literally today I got an email from Adina Bennett saying, Ellie, um, just a reminder, you need to get all these papers figured <laughs> out before you actually come to get your driver's license. And you don't think of those things, you know? Like, no. I never even realized that I'm picking up and moving to another country. So there's new rules, new regulations, new things. And I think just having that support, and honestly, if you tell people that you live in Israel and you're like not in Ole Chadash, from that Facebook post that I put out there, it seems like everyone's gonna hate me. And I don't <laughs> want that to happen. Everyone like, already hates you, Ali. It's okay. 
It'll but feel the feeling will be familiar. That, that's a reason why we're leaving, but <laughs> um, that's for another time. Uh, so whatever. So uh, we figured we'd do this quick blog post about what are some of the benefits that we found to be beneficial um, if you're planning to move it. Alrighty. Alrighty.